Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, Travis here, um, out on my back patio area, just enjoying the Sunday evening here. I had uh, the afternoon to mow the lawn as the sun came out and the clouds and rain went away, so I just got done mowing the lawn, and as you may be able to see smoke um, whirling around me, I'm getting ready to do a little grilling, so I got my uh, coals working right there. And hopefully you can see me okay, I'm kind of in the shade, but I've got the coals going. And I have wrapped up my tin foil dinners tonight. So tin foil dinners, they include um, smoked sausage, potatoes, onions, peppers, and carrots. And you pretty much throw whatever you want in, but those are kind of a childhood memory of mine. Um, going camping and canoeing is something we always would make a big fire, and then as the coals... Um, got hot and the f flames died down a little bit, we just throw the packages right in. So we'll, I'll do it a little bit different and grill tonight, but um, we're doing that and I'm enjoying... Well, let me set the camera down here. Um, I'm enjoying a cigar, getting ready to light it up. It is an El Centurion. Um, you can see that band okay. And it is handmade and it says Cubana. Uh, I don't know anything about it. This was a gift uh, given. Uh, by a YouTube friend, and I have done a punch cut tonight on it since I was unable to uh, find my cutter by the time I punch. Uh, so I did that. Um, it kind of has an interesting feel. It's just it's a little bit soft, but not in a. Uh, I don't think it's overly soft. Uh, I've been trying to mess with my humidor a little bit to get it a little more consistent since winter is kind of over and I've stopped running the heat, so it's a lot more humid. In, well, it's more humid in my house than usual. It's not disgustingly humid, but, you know, wintertime is really dry, so I'm trying to get that working, and I am enjoying a Bundaberg root beer from Australia. Uh, it's actually quite good so far. It, it was a, another gift given um, from a friend of mine, and it, it's really not bad. It has uh, licorice root, sassafras root, and ginger root in it, so it's not your run-of-the-mill store-bought root beer. I don't drink alcohol, so um, I don't have anything like that to uh, compare it to, but it's definitely not like Barks or A&W or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and try to toast up this cigar. It's uh, pretty windy. I have my Joban dual pipe lighter, so I'm going to try to do the first time I've ever lit a cigar with a torch lighter, so we'll see how this goes. So show it off, and I might cut this out. I don't know. It's video. We'll see. the tough thing about toasting with this windproof flame, you can barely see it. You can just see the darkening of the scar, so we'll see how this goes. Try to keep the wrapper down it. Loosened a little bit on the cut, so. Let's see if we can actually get it to this. First draw, it's, it's really quite sweet. Um, not in a fake way, just. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. It's really quite sweet and um, not much of a finish, but let's see if I can keep this going, maybe touch it up a little bit. It's like at the bottom half not quite going. But anyway, um, I'll check back with you guys in a little bit and let you know how the cigar's going. Hey everybody, I'm back. Uh, made it about a third of the way through the cigar so far, and the cap's holding well after the wedding job on it. Um, burned pretty good, just it had one kind of trailer, and then when I uh, corrected the burn, it um, the ash fell off, but it held on for about an inch. I think it could probably hold on longer if it didn't need that touch-up, but um, the sweetness has kind of gone away that was there initially, and now it's just uh, not overly complex. Um, 
it's just kind of a leathery, uh, just kind of a leathery uh, flavor, not, no real pepper or earthy taste or woody taste like uh, some of the cigars I've enjoyed before, so it's, it's just kind of a leathery taste, um, which it's pretty nice. It, again, I'm awful at reviews and don't, haven't smoked enough to make any real review, but Um, it certainly has a good flavor and a short finish, which I, I like. I don't, I don't like a real long finish because, um, I just, it seems like sometimes the longer the finish, the it taste kind of changes as it goes on, and not in a good way, usually, for me, so, um, I'm enjoying that, and the root beer is tasting great with it, so, I got my, uh, foil dinners on the grill, um, and I'll probably check back again maybe at the end of the cigar or when I get the food off the grill and let you take a look at it. Hey everybody, Travis back with the uh, end of the cigar, or near the end. I wanted to be able to show you that I can keep an ash on for... <laughs> Uh, more than an inch, or at least right around an inch. Um, the second third, it, it fell off again at about an inch, so maybe that's all <coughs> this cigar is going to be able to do. But as you can see, the ash is not uh, bad, but it's not perfect. It's not white, it's kind of a gray ash, but um, this cigar has kind of kept the same flavor the whole way through, and it's it's been great. It's been real nice. Just that nice, mellow, leathery flavor the whole way through. So, um, really good. The tinfoil dinners are... Just about finished, so let me show you those. I assume they're finished, so I really won't know until I open them up and check them. So, so here they are. They've been on the grill for, well, pretty much the whole, almost the whole cigar. So, nearing 30 minutes... Um, since I put them on, well, I should say the last two-thirds of the cigar. Um, so I'll turn them one more time, leave them on for just a little bit, and then I'll take them off. Um, hopefully they'll be done, and I can enjoy a little bit of dinner with my wife tonight as we prepare for the week ahead. There we go. Anyway, hope you guys are having a good evening and had a good weekend. And um, until next time. We'll see you guys later.